Hey -o, everybody, Haku here with my live reaction for Book New Hero Academia chapter we at 240? 240. Oh man, I'm so hyped because I just came off I usually read One Piece before I do Book New Hero Academia. And I just came off a really good One Piece chapter, and now I'm super excited because Book New Hero Academia has just been absolutely on fire for the longest time, this whole arc really. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the joint training arc, which I think was before this, but man, this whole villain arc has been insanely good. And I think we're probably going to get an epilogue for it, because I saw the title when I clicked onto it. What was the title? Power. So Power immediately makes me think of uh, Mirio, and like his little catchphrase that he had for a short time there. Um, but aside from... sorry, looking down... Um, but aside from the Mirio stuff, it makes me think it's going to be about the power that Shigaraki has now acquired with all these people joining up. And I talked about it at the end of last week's video, so I won't harp on it too much. But now we get to see these characters from the um, Liberation Army persist on as part of the League of Villains. Now the League of Villains not only has their sort of henchmen, not only do they have henchmen, but they have people that are just normal citizens infiltrating society, um, and some of them at the highest points in society, like controlling a big tech corporation, or being a politician, or like being one of the big hero equipment outfitters that can now make equipment for the villains too. Um, they just have so much power now, and I really hope Curious survived too, because, like I said, fall damage is not a really believable way to die in Boku no Hero Academia. But, either way, let's, uh, let's read. We have one week after the second coming festival battle in Deka City, after the deadly battle, and we have the huge-ass, uh, crater there. Chapter 240, Power. According to witnesses, the culprits who caused the tragedy that occurred in this once peaceful town were a group of twenty who held a grudge against heroes. It's believed to have been a planned rebellion. The insurgents allegedly leaked fake information to the heroes in order to lead them out of town before commencing the attack. Witnessing this sudden disaster, the citizens of Deka banded together and fought back. Man, I love this. The heroes ultimately joined them, and a battle ensued. Although many of Deka's citizens fell victim to the attack, all twenty of the culprits were ultimately killed in the conflict. Furthermore, the president and CEO of Detnerat Company, Mr. Rikia Yotsubashi, also happened to be present at the Deka, er, in Deka City during the attack. He suffered grievous injuries, including two severed legs, narrow, er, narrowly escaping death. Oh, no. So yeah, we have um, Shueisha Executive found dead, which is, again, kind of BS. It's pretty unbelievable that they would die from fall damage. Um, although some critics have remarked that untrained civilians, and it feels like a waste of a character, but that aside, I don't really mind that as much because we have so many other good characters going on. It's just that dying from fall damage feels really unbelievable. Although some critics have remarked that untrained civilians using their quirks led to increased casualties, the vast majority of the public is lauding the citizens of Deka as heroes. At this time, many of the details remain unclear, and the investigation is ongoing. Ah, so this is what they meant when they said calm always follows the storm, says, um, says Compress. You didn't even do anything, says Dobby. Ha <laughs> oh, but I did. I ran around a lot. Hey, Dobby, you gonna eat that? If not, hand it over, says Spinner. Knock yourself out. I hate fish. I'm sorry, Toga. And we have a Toga grave. Oh, probably for the fake... T <laughs> probably a grave for the fake Toga that he created. <laughs> if Toga hadn't shared her blood, Toga would be dead right now. Could you please stop that? I'm actually alive, so it's making me angry. <laughs> I, I love this. I love this. This is the best. Twice would make a grave for the clone Toga, or like a memorial shrine. That's so good. I'm actually alive, so it's making me angry. Let's stop doing things that make people angry, says Twice. Oops, my foot's moving on its own, stupid foot. I'm a bad boy, don't hit me. Huh, what the hell am I saying? I thought he got over his issues. Looks like he's splitting again. Apparently that therapy he underwent actually made it worse, says Spinner. It's time. Hurry it up, says Skeptic coming in. Shut it, nerd. We're still eating our sushi. And, uh, 
we have this sort of uh, Maguro time-passing uh, panel. Excuse me, if you've forgotten that we were the ones who paid for the sushi, not to mention your treatment of the editing and news footage and Toka's coat, all thanks to us. Oh uh, yeah, and whose charity is it that allowed that old baldy to stay in this hideout when he should be in a casket right about now? That's enough, skeptic, says Hanabata. The Supreme, um, Redestro chose these people. And Redestro's words are, and have always been the words of Destro. And I love this little secret hideout they have going on. It's really cool. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, or ladies and gentlemen of the Liberation Army, it is I, Redestro. Ah, oh, this is so cool. He's got this little chair with uh, the others standing behind him, and he's giving a speech to all these people. We have Giganto Machia in the crowd. It's really cool. From this moment forward, this thing's itchy, thinks uh, Shigaraki wearing a big coat sort of like what Apocrypha had. The Superpower Liberation Army shall be reborn. I thought all of Tamura's hands were broken, says, um, says Toga. Apparently, just one of them was unscathed. It's a miracle that it was still intact with all the destruction. So, he's going to make it his trademark, huh? I'd always thought that in order to enlighten the world to Destro's will, the League would be a wall that stood in our way. I firmly believed that, until that fateful day. But alas, I was blind to the truth. I was, an, I was a prisoner of my own blood, bound by my doctrine. But then I witnessed liberation in its purest form. And this is not a simple surrender. I believe that Tomura Shigaraki is the true liberator. He has earned my utmost respect, and thus, I am abdicating my position, out of necessity. The Liberation Army will now undergo its second coming, with Tomura Shigaraki at the helm as our supreme leader, and in order to follow our newfound path to liberation, the Superpower Liberation Army and the League of Villains shall join together and take on a new name. This name was devised by myself, and Spinner of the League. Okay, so he and Spinner came up with the name, now Tomura Shigaraki. Ah, that's our cue. If you would please do the honors. The Paranormal Liberation Front. Man, look at this hype-ass panel. We see uh, from left to right. I love the cherries in, too. We have Redestro, Hanabata, Apocrypha, Skeptic, Shigaraki, Toga. And I love Toga's look with the uh, bandages and eye patch too. Compress, Twice, Spinner, and Dobby. Badass. We've discarded the title of villains and expanded to super pa er, and expanded superpower to an even broader interpretation. Furthermore, the nine individuals on the stage before you have been appointed as officers, and will be forming their own squadrons with members they choose. Yo, so I oh, this is so hype! I'm getting chills. So we have like nine squadron leaders here. This is so cool, and we get to see freaking Apocryph Apocrypha's face. Look at him. What if we're being completely misled here, and instead of, um, this is probably 1000% not true, instead of us all thinking that Dobby is Toya, Apocrypha was Toya all along, but either way. But names are no different from, thi er, from this thing. A decoration, says Shigaraki, taking the hand off. Call us whatever you want. And all the people start cheering. Ah, and Hawks is in the crowd, too. We were too late, he thinks. That's why this flew under the radar so easily. What the hell happened in Deka? It was you guys, right? If we'd just captured the League already, then civilians wouldn't have had to die. Ha, huh, says Dobby. Setting aside the issue of whether he is who you say he is, the fact remains you did kill someone. Okay, so of course, it looks like best genus... But I think Hawks would be stupid to kill the real best genist when they could at least give a fake one and keep the real one alive to use later. So I would think there's a very, very good chance that it's a fake best genist. But again, I like that Dobby is smart enough to know that. Dobby's smart enough to be like, this might not be the real one, but you did kill someone. An army unified under one will, feel good incorporated in their vast network. Detonarot Company, which has a strong connection with the hero industry, and most likely, 
several more high-end Nomu. And I like that with the high-end Nomu, we're seeing Dobby here, because it seems like, um... It seems like Dobby has some sort of connection that he'll be working with Ujiko. This group could do just about anything. So I wonder if that Dobby squad will just be high-end Nomu. This group could do just about anything. Shigaraki, even in this superhuman society, overflowing with heroes, Shigaraki now commands power equal to, if not greater than, the heroes. I love this. This has been the growth and ascension of Shigaraki to supervillain status. Excellent work, sir. May I offer you something to drink? And now Riki has just be become a total servant to Shigaraki, a total yes man. Get lost. With pleasure. Trumpet, let's get lost. This is hard to watch, thinks Trumpet. How did or how did a guy like that become CEO suspender? And of course Oh no, this is it looks like Shigaraki collapsing. I thought I thought it was gonna be a comedy gag of Apocrypha like banging the ground, like no, how did we come to this? But no, it's Shigaraki falling over. It was a miracle that he even survived with those injuries, so I'm not surprised. The Paranormal Liberation Front, eh? What an overly bombastic name, but I suppose it's not as bad as a cheap title like the League of Villains. I tamed Machia. I take it you er I take it I, er, I take it I've met your lofty standards now. Is that Dr. Ujiko? says Compress. You've regained your memories, and reverted back to er back to the old you, including your quirk. Has promised, says Ujiko. I will grant you power, if that's what you desire. But first, there's just one small favor I'd like you to do for me. I'd like you to transport something for me. And now we're seeing, uh, Hawks. Let's liberate some stuff. I can't believe Hawks is here. And we see him talking to some of the random members. Hey, what are you doing over there, number two? You sure look happy, says Dobby. Of course, introduce me to everyone, would ya? It's not over yet. I still have a patron here. I need to get a handle on the whole situation and report this to Endeavor and everyone immediately. All right, Hawks. From here on out, if you fall behind, Japan's finished. Danger looms. Next issue, new developments. Oh, yeah. Because that's the thing. What if what they need them to do is take out Hawks? Because Hawks is the one person that knows the truth right now that could spill it to the heroes. So if they take out Hawks, then nobody's going to know. Man, this is so good. I love how deep the story has gotten with the um, with the inclusion of the Superpower uh, Liberation Army. I absolutely love all of this. And I like that now, for the future arcs and stuff, we could see like teams of new villains working in the squads of each of those nine um, each of those nine officers. I love it. Man, this is so, so good. Kind of, again, BS that Curious died in all of this, but that's like one negative point in a whole sea of really, really positive things. So, yeah. Like, there's one negative thing, but why focus on that when there are so many amazing things going on right now? So, yeah, I'm super excited for the future. I really hope we get to see more development for all of them and for them to have their own squads that they're using and we get development for their squad members and everything. I just love that we have now completed Shigaraki's journey to being super villain. Like, how we started off just a pathetic wannabe villain that was really nothing more than a failed henchman. Um when it comes to the way he actually fought against All Might. But now he's come full circle into real big bad territory. So I absolutely love it. It's been cool to see this written throughout the course of the series instead of just having some bad guy from the beginning. Um, so yeah, it's amazing. I loved it all. Like if you did like the video. Comment down there to tell me what you thought of this chapter and what you thought of my thoughts and reaction to it. Subscribe for more Boku no Hero Academia, much more on the channel and more, and follow on Twitter if you want, and I'll try to keep you updated there and stuff with the channel and talk to you there. If you want a link to the Discord server to talk to me or more of us on Discord, just ask and I can give you a link. And if you want to help support the channel on Patreon, keep it going. A uh, link to the Patreon will be in the description. And also, patrons get to vote every three months on a series for Sunday on the channel. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.